To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Cu2O, this is copper one oxide, we'll use these general rules here. So the first thing you'll notice, there's no negative or positive charge after the Cu2O. That means it's a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're gonna add up to zero. So that's an important rule to remember. Copper, you won't find it in our rules here. It's a transition metal, so it can have different oxidation states depending what it's bonded to. In this case, it's bonded to oxygen, and oxygen is always minus two, with a few exceptions. So the oxygen is minus two, so that means the minus two, we're gonna have to have a plus two over here. So two times plus one, that'll give us plus two. These will cancel out, and this will be a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers add up to zero. Two times plus one, that's two, and minus two, zero. So these are the oxidation numbers for Cu2O. Note that this plus one, that's for each copper. There are two coppers and each one has a plus one oxidation number. Note we call this copper one oxide because of this plus one here, copper one oxide. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Cu2O, copper one oxide. Thanks for watching.